Hi, it's Tim. Welcome back to the corner. Today we've got the FX80 printer out again and also the Commodore 64 and the reason is because of this. And this is... a Centronics parallel interface for the Commodore 64. Let's take a look. So what we've got here, looking out of the box, is a card question mark Centronics parallel printer interface with graphics for the VIC-20 and C64 computers. It's basically a box and an IEC cable and a Centronics cable. So obviously the Centronics port plugs into the printer and this plugs into the C64. Now there is this flying lead which is entirely tangled up. Of course this came without any uh, manuals or instructions or anything but it should be pretty straightforward. And I think there's probably a manual online. So this flying lead is going to be, I would imagine, 5 volts, which that would normally go to a connector that plugs into the cassette port, sort of like that. This is a um, cassette port expander, so it allows us to plug in, in this instance, an SD to PET, but it will work equally well for an SD to IEC and indeed one of these if we just um, attach the second one in is 5 volts just attach that to 5 volts and this should be fine so this basically is a splitter it allows you to take power off as well as use the cassette port this is obviously pretty filthy so I'm going to give it a clean but let's take it apart and see what is inside why? because I'm curious I'd like to thank PCBWay for sponsoring this video. PCBWay make printed circuit boards. This is a selection of the boards that I've had from them in the past. Prices start from just $5 for 10 boards. You can design your own and upload the Gerbers and get prototype boards. You can get shared project boards. Some of these are shared projects, some of these are my own design. And they also do flexible PCBs, they do CNC machining, they do 3D printing, they do sheet metal work. They are also running their sixth annual design contest right now. So check them out, www.pcbway.com. And now back to the video. So, just got four screws, the Phillips head screws. They're quite small, so I'm using a small screwdriver. But we will see what is inside it. Okay, so that is a P8048 LS244. That's an LS373 bank of dip switches. And that's an 8404TR. I guess that's a RAM or something. So after a little adventure with Google, this, the P8048H is an Intel microcontroller. It runs at 6 megahertz, it has 27 I.O. lines, an 8-bit timer, 64 bytes of RAM and 1K of mask ROM. So like the 6530 in the um, SFD and so on, it's programmed at the factory and you hope it does not fail because it ain't going to be a replacement for it. That's a regular static RAM and those are regular TTLs. Let's give this a bit of a clean before we use it, simply because it's filthy. Okay. Let's just do the case first. It's a really unfortunate colour. And I think that's actually bringing off some of the printing, so I'm going to be careful with that. Because look at that, it's actually black, and I think that's the black of the printing, not the black of the dirt. 
So I'll just go around the edges. And by the magic of a jump cut, here it is finished. So there we go, and most of that dirt actually came off the ribbon cable. It's rather unfortunate that the case is this colour. So let's put it back in. As with all soft tappers, turn them backwards slightly to hear them click. Otherwise you'll end up cutting another thread. There we go. So this end goes into the printer. This end goes into the C64. And this does not need to be this long. So what I'm going to do... is cut that off. Because we don't need that. And then this, we will put a connector on it and connect that onto this. Okay, for now what I'm going to do is directly solder it. Because we're almost always going to be using an SD to IEC or something similar with it. So let's just tin the wire first and then tack it on. And it's this one here. There we go. So now let's connect it up and see what we can get. So now I've hooked it up. We've got the interface plugged into the back of the printer and it goes into this which is a wire adapter. It's a homemade wire adapter for the IEC port so that I can plug in the SD to IEC and the printer both at the same time because none of these devices come with uh, pass-throughs. So these days you've got to make your own. So, and the power lead goes into the SD to PET, which also powers the SD to IEC. So, when I switch the computer on, you can hear the printer do its bit, and that shows that it's actually all working and all correct, and all connected up. The first thing I'm going to do is load a directory of what's on this SD card in the usual way. Adjust the camera so that you can see it. And there we have it. And now I want to print that out on the printer. So what I can do is this works exactly the same as it would for a Commodore printer. Oh, by the way, I found a manual for it online and I've printed it out. It's 50 pages of A5. Uh, hopefully you can see that. It gives you an idea of what's in it. And so on. there are program listings in here and all sorts. And it looks to be quite useful. So, open 4, comma 4. CMD4, that redirects all the output to device 4. And that will have printed ready. And then we can just type list. And that is now coming out on the printer. Exactly as it would have done on the screen. And then to close it... And 
And there is our listing. So there was a little program from here that I copied typed in earlier on. Let's see if I can find it. There we go. It's just a simple little program. It tells you um, the capabilities of the printer. And I called it PRT2. There we go. So if I run that, that's going to show our normal uppercase lowercase, uppercase, and expanded, normal, condensed, and expanded, condensed, oh, and reversed. Reversed seems to take a very long time to print, because I guess it's doing it in graphics mode. One thing I wanted to do was print out a listing of one of the programs that I wrote in a previous episode that happens to be on this SD card. There we go, I'm not going to list it all there. So, same thing. Fun. There we go, that's our program listing. Three sheets of paper. Just like in the old days. Now back in the day we used software like this. This is Printmaster Plus. There was also the print shop and probably others. And we would use this software to print out banners and cards and stationery and posters and all sorts. So let's have a play. We're going to print out a banner. Not a huge amount of choice. Let's go for Deville, a nice TypeScript font. Preview. This would probably go a lot faster. This is accessing the disk. Probably go a lot faster if I had Jiffy DOS installed or something. Okay, that looks good. Print. Thank you. 
And there we have it. So that's the Cardco Centronics printer interface. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that youtube -y stuff. Check out my Patreon. There are more people that have walked on the moon than are members of my Patreon. So be one of the few. There are benefits. Thank you for watching if you got this far. And I will see you next time. Bye. See ya. Something to watch up there. Yay printing!